Gotch, uh, head football coach at Tabor College. I want to thank uh, Coach Dallas and uh, uh, Salina Country Club for, for hosting this event here. Um, I'm, I'm, I'm very excited for this upcoming season and uh, welcome, welcome, welcoming it to uh, open arms. Uh, we got our butts kicked last year. A uh, great bunch of coaches up here that work hard, prepare hard. Uh, and I'd like to think that our staff is doing the same thing. But uh, like I said, I I'm, I'm, can't wait to get going. Uh, we've worked extremely hard uh, this offseason in recruiting. I feel like we've made some progress. Uh, our staff is getting more acquainted with one another. Uh, Coach King, just a tremendous man, loyal man, man of integrity, Christian man. Uh, we pro promoted him from our D-line coach to our defensive coordinator. Coach King, can you stand up, please? Um, another couple young pups that we got on staff uh, that we got hired uh, this year. Uh, Grant Myers, All-American offensive lineman. He's in his second year. We, uh, he's our offensive line coach. Uh, Jake Shank, and I just found out he's got another year of eligibility, so he's going to be playing. No, I'm just kidding. Stand up, Jake. <laughs> Jake's our linebacker coach. He's going to bring some intensity. I know that we were lacking over there uh, last year. Uh, we we hired John Garcia. Uh, Johnny Garcia was a, a tight end for Tabor a few years back. Uh, he's going to be our wide receivers coach. Uh, we're still looking for another coach, but we'll we'll find the right guy. Uh, we we feel like again like uh, you know the the progress that we've made through spring through strength training and weights and all those things, we're, we're heading in the right direction. Um, you know, we got, we got our, got welcomed into here, got my feet wet, knees, hips, shoulders, and had a snorkel on, you know, at the end there, but uh, we're going to hang in there and we're going to persevere. Um, our offense, um, we've got about five starters back on offense. Um, Call it what you want. We had a, a starting offensive line and left tackle, Zach Helgus, and he, he went down in the first uh, first game against Ottawa, uh, a season-ending injury. Uh, but he, he'll be back. Uh, we're expecting big things out of him. Drew Hooper, another offensive lineman, be a senior. Uh, he'll be back. Our anchor, he was an all-conference lineman, uh, Darren Fisher, uh, just a fabulous young man uh, that will do a great job for us. He's back. And then we signed a couple of uh, bigger bodies, and we're excited about what, what these guys will do. Uh, we got a quarterback back. Uh, he started uh, week two against uh, Sterling, and I think he threw for close to 300 in that game. And uh, then he got knocked out in the Bethel game, suffered a concussion. So he was involved in about five ball games, and he threw for over 1,200 yards. And uh, we're hoping that he stays healthy this year. Uh, he'll be a junior. Jason Aubrey is his name. Um, our tailback, uh, Demetrius Cox, uh, he rushed for uh, over 800. Uh, I know he's, he calls me about every other day from Florida. He's, he's working hard. Uh, he's, he's biting a bit uh, to get going. Uh, our receiving core is probably going to be our thin area. Uh, we had a kid uh, would have been a sophomore, was going to be a sophomore. He, uh, he tore his ligament, his wrist, Troy Frick. 6'4", 210-pound receiver. He, he won't be playing this year, so we're going to miss him. So, uh, see what we can do. With the, 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 we like to throw the football, so uh, we'll, we'll see what happens with that. Defensively, uh, I'm excited about Coach King. Uh, we, ran, we ran a 30 front last year, and uh, uh, this game we better be able to stop the run. And that was something that we weren't doing. Uh, I think we gave up over 200 yards uh, a week, and that's pathetic. And uh, that's got to change. And uh, I know Coach King, uh, his, his physical style of play and his emphasis in stopping the run. And with, uh, I, I just, with some of the guys that we signed on that side of the ball, uh, hopefully it's a little bit more difficult for these guys that like to run the ball. Uh, uh, we do a little bit better there. Um, special teams, I, you know, I'm, a, I'm a firm believer as well as most coaches, that that's a third of the game. And uh, we feel like we've got a couple senior kickers that are going to do a, a great job for us. They're back. Uh, and that, that's an area, too, that I felt like uh, after analyzing the season and evaluating our weaknesses and the things that we just we need to get better at, uh, our special teams is an area that we, we must improve. 
Uh, offensively, I think we averaged five turnovers a week. Uh, and I felt like we were in a lot of ball games. And, and uh, so if we, if we can stop the run a little better and we can have maybe one turnover a week, uh, I'm, I'm thinking that uh, things will improve for the Blue Jays. Uh, but again, I'm excited about the season. We're going to persevere and we're going to keep plugging away and doing the things that, that we that we plan out. Any questions? Thank you.